What's up, people? It's you, back at ya. Civic Stain. Hey, I've been working on this new project, uh, something out of my norm, and it came upon a good friend of mine, uh, Kim Hudson. Uh, very awesome lady, loud, but loud because she's joyous. But I call her Jamaica when I see her. I say, hey, what's up, Jamaica? She knows it means, hey, I do, you know. Kim, awesome, thank you. And it was uh, just a simple question she had if I ever thought about um, uh, doing a Pulse tribute. And I've thought about Pulse, but never thought that, you know, I, I should do a tribute. And then I was uh, thinking more of doing another uh, Star Wars theme. But as much as I, I was trying to think of it, Pulse kept coming on because of Kim. Thanks, Kim. I'm thinking, you know what, I'm, I'm Orlando, you know, I'm Orlando boy now and it happened in my backyard and, and then I couldn't stop thinking about it. So that's as an artist or you know you go towards what you're thinking of. Whatever path you're on like with stars and then strays, you kinda I kinda follow. And I can come back later. And I thought why not? You know, it's it's hometown now from Hawaii but hometown is is you know my home is Orlando. So I think uh I thought uh, I'd give it a try. I put the early lay down on Facebook um, and I didn't do it initially because I wasn't sure if I was going to complete this one and that because I don't want to step over toes or it be you know you know yeah I just the feeling was not there until I started doing it and then I started putting uh, myself uh, symbolisms of what I thought well you know so it's what I you know thought about it and thought should be in it so if, if uh, I don't step on toes or anything, and I don't think I did, because again, it's my interpretation. And if the symbolisms on here can be uh, read by another person in a different way, because that's art. You know, everybody lives different lives and you see uh, an apple maybe, and to you, it's not much, but to somebody who grew up hard life, they see the apple, that was like a real treat. So, uh, but the symbolisms you can read for yourself. What I'm gonna explain is what I put into it and what what how it was made and uh, what what's going into it for myself. So um, and this is pretty much the finished prod product and unless I look at it tomorrow. And uh, you know it's real basic. Wait, hold on a second. There you go. It's a real basic design, of course the the pulse beat. And uh, when I first laid it out and I put it on Facebook, it was the the blues and the whites. And uh, textured, uh, I textured it. If you look on the side, and I move it a little bit, that way it's not flat. And I kind of like that now. So when I paint over, you can see the texturing and all that. And I started with the blue and white, and I wanted that to be my base because you know what happened that day, and what happens in a lot of our days, it starts off like a regular day, blue skies you know, white clouds and you don't know what's going to happen later and you never know if it's good or if it's just a bunch of stuff that happened. So I, I wanted that to be my initial lay down and then what happened that day then was piled onto it. You know what I mean? It was a bright, sunny, clear day or whatever and it, if not out in the nature in your mind and then all of a sudden, bam, you know, all that chaos happened. So that that's my thought behind this. Um, here in the and I'm not going to interpret everything, but I'm going to say a couple of things about some things. Um, the angel here, I kind of wanted to sneak that in there on the, on the side, not too prominent, kind of faded, but um, and not overly done. That's that's what I wanted for that. Uh, the the rainbow colors, of course, for me, uh, I'm not sure because I, I saw some things that were done. There's always rainbows, but I didn't want a regular rainbow. For me, the colors represent like a, a, a promise after after a, a, a huge storm and, and turbulence, a promise of something better, maybe a brighter day or, or you know, just something better. Uh, the lips, uh, all the love that was shown, which, um, you know, you have to give it. And um, as we go, I put a lot of kodos in there. They're behind in the purple and the green. They're uh, designed from New Zealand. Uh, it represents growth, strength, um, pretty much peace, and a, a new life or new journey. 
And that's what I wish for them is peace and, and, and growth, you know. A journey towards something better. So that's, because they got a poly. I have to put some poly in to, you know, represent myself. And that's also growth in the, the arms here. The teary eye, you know, that's, that's, that's universal for what happened. And then I, I kind of wanted another set of colors to run up that way. So I kind of put like bubble. I was going to balloon them up. I was like, nah, it's like kind of like the bubble effect. Uh, rainbow bubbles. And behind them are Manus. Because I don't want everything to be pronounced or seen. They're uh, Polynesian type birds. And as Polynesians, uh, the birds are very important because they led us to a new land. And, you know, and, uh, and it represents uh, travel or journey. And I hope that they, you know, they'll be guiding uh, the people who survived to a, a better place in a, of mine and, you know, a little bit more peace. Anyway, but um, so I'm glad I did this, Kim, right on. Uh, a lot of meaning and I didn't want to just put pictures up. Uh, our people handed down uh, the symbols. That's how we tell a story without... Um, letters or words and the hula and the dance from the Hawaiians and the Samoans here in all our culture was not through like writing and stuff it was dancing uh, and art through tattoo patterns and everything so I hope you guys like it uh, it's out of the norm for me I don't really do this type of thing but I, I kind of like that little break and uh, it kind of touched me to do it after I got done, I, I thought to myself, man, that's, that's not too bad. But what would really be cool if, if I knew any survivors and stuff, and they, they would like, they could sign their name and put a little tag, you know, hashtag, you know, live for better tomorrow, just around. I thought that would be awesome, but anyway, this is what it is. Well, what am I calling this one anyway? Pulse tribute, I guess. That would be cool. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. No? I don't know. Stay strong, Orlando. Stay strong, Orlando. That's we'll figure it out. Strong. I'll put a title. I don't want... See, if I don't sit well, like, with, with art or anything like that, I'm not going to tag it or just put it just to put it. We'll sit with it until it sits well. Like, life, you can't just, you know, go if it's not... You shouldn't go. Anyway, so... Check it out. Hope you like it. I'll put a picture on face, uh, Facebook later. I just wanted to make this video so the Facebook guys can, can check it out on YouTube. And also, my Instagram. At, man, you slow. <laughs> oh, at two underscore Pacific dot thing. There you go. Woohoo! All right, thanks, Kim. Thank you everybody for watching. I appreciate it. And to Poly Style, Orlando, Paul's Tribute, maybe the title, maybe not. We'll see. Right on.